second video that I'm gonna be recording today. It's Sunday, February 3rd. It's, like I said, a Sunday. It is 45 degrees out, as I said before. And I'm, I'm gonna, gonna give you guys a tour. I've had a lot of questions lately on our cattle operation. So I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a tour on what we do for our feeder cattle in this video. So basically what our feeder cattle is, is the cattle that the cattle that we buy as calves. The farmers in the area we buy about 700 a year or so. our pit I'm just going back you can kind of see the hay right here then we have our gluten to the left of that which is the bright yellow stuff and we got our distillers which is to the left of that so I believe we get the gluten I could be wrong but we could I believe we get the gluten from ADM and Clinton and we get the distillers from an ethanol plant in Lena Illinois it could be backwards but we get these two from two different places we grind up about 20 bales of hay every 10 to 14 days and just make a big old pile and feed about two to three scoops every year, every feed, every load, I should say, which end up, ends up being about 6, 600 pounds. Put about 1,200 pounds of each in here. And we also got silage, which is right there. Uh, we put about, uh, I don't know, rough about three to 4,000 of silage and then earlids, which is right here which this is still covered up just because we still have our bag that we're, that we're getting out of, which you guys have seen a little bit. So these are the five things that go in there, but we also got pure protein uh, and a mineral supplement in Vigor Tone. So, but yeah, so that's, so they basically put that in our feeder wagon on our 996 and our Valametal 450 feeder wagon. And then, so this is our, this is one of our cattle yards. It's about 250 head that we put in here, I believe. Obviously, this isn't it. This is about half the yard. You guys can see there's more goes going back around that way. So, like I said, we have this is a cattle yard. Really, the main things you got to have in a cattle yard are feed bunks, which we have. We pull in like this, go feed them going along this way, and then come back and feed the rest right there. So that's uh, we have to, you have to have feed bunks. We put mineral in there, which that's that little tub. We have a lick tub in there occasionally. And we all you got to have water, which you get. They get water. Uh, through this barn, I'll kind of I'll go to that other side, but through that barn, we get a little water from our natural spring that comes in. Then you usually got to have some form of shelter. So we got this barn here and this barn here that they can come into that we also put bedding in. So like I said, it's a pretty good setup. These cattle are really nice. We rarely lose a cow. Um, look at that one scratching its head. <laughs> so, but yeah, so this is the feedlot at Grandma's yard. It's real easy. We basically, like I said, it's just right on the other side of our our, uh, our pit, and yeah, we like to clean out these pits of manure about every two weeks. We scrape them up, uh, whether we haul it or not. If we can't haul it, we just pile it up right here, over on that side and in that corner. So, and there we go. And then we also have occasionally about this is the first year in the last couple of years that we haven't done it, but we usually fill this silo up of earlidge as well. So, but this year we didn't do it just because we didn't have time. But we'll head over and head to Jerry's feedlot next. Kind of show you guys that one. But like I said, this is the feedlot at Grandma's. This is the one we've had the longest. Fits about 200 to 250 head of cattle in here. Probably closer to 200, I'm guessing. So this is the backside of Grandma's lot or the of Grandma's feedlot. There's the there's their water that's from a natural spring cattle from both lots get it so this is our uh, cow calf lot I won't go into that much because I'll do that in another video but here's the le the rest of our cattle yacht cattle yard right here and there's their water at grandma's so. now you'll head down to Jerry's so this is Jerry's feed lot right here it's just this one yard you can guys can see just about all of it so the same thing this thing also has a shelter place for water which is back here 
And we also put bedding in that shelter, which we have bedding bales right there. And then it also has feed lots around the outside. So this one's a different design. We like this design better because we actually don't have to go in the feed lot. Look, the cattle think they're gonna get fed. But we actually, we just built this, built this feed lot with uh, bunks all the way around it, which we'll drive around it here shortly. But yeah, but we still can get in it to scrape up manure. As you can see, the manure has been scraped up. Like this one, we also like to scrape up manure about every two weeks as well. But all we gotta do to feed cattle, just drive right along and feed them. And this is the shed, this is how we load these ones out. We have a chute around this backside. And yeah, we'll, we'll go ahead and make a lap around this place. This is their shed that fits all these cattle when they want to, but they really all wanna be in there. Except when it had that polar vortex S cold. And here's our feed bunks. We built this, so I was still around when we built these, but it's been a while. I'd say at least 10 years we've had this. The water you can kind of see is that yellow thing over there. That's the water they get. Yeah. And when this manure gets full, we just basically put two piles in here as well, just depending on how much manure is where. Try not to slide into... Right there's a manure pit, a liquid manure pit. You do not want to slide into that. Look at these cattle following me. They think they're going to get fed. Not yet, boys. Not yet. I believe this is our steer lot. One thing I forgot to mention is we usually do like to divide up cows into steers and heifers just because they usually do finish. Steers are usually uh, heavier than uh, heifers, so we like to split them up. So. But anyway, so that was Jerry. So now we'll head, head back to my grandma's because I forgot to show you something. But you guys won't see that because I'll edit it out. We'll head back to grandma's and we'll head down to Pat's place. Hey look, there's the 560 right next to the manure tank. Neat. Just pulling into Pat's place right now. So this lot to the right of that red shed is also our cow-calf lot. So I'm not going to go into that at all. But we do have feeders down here as well. Not nearly as many. I'd say 50 to 75 or so. Um, basically enough that we take a half a load down every day. So probably about 100 I'd say kind of see right there's a cow calf lot and right even with that shed is the steer lot no I believe heifers down here I'm not quite sure so we'll go take a look at it that auger isn't gonna work right and here we are here's our feeders they're all majority of them are in that shed back there they're kind of all just hucked in against the out of the out of the cold, or there's really not that much cold anymore. But they're hucked in down there. So basically, this is the same kind of same feedlot again. We have water over there on that side. We have shelter that we bed every once in a while. Every week, I'd say we bed them. Manure's picked up, and then we feed them as well. So we have bunks in here. You kind of see the start of them. Basically, that we feed them going that row of bunks back there. We go that way, and then come back and feed this row right down there you can kind of see them more so yeah like I said same setup as as grandma's pretty much um, yeah not a whole lot to this one except we don't have very much and this one splits it with our cow calf pairs they split uh, they split this yard and these all get the same rations and we tweak it a little bit if it's whether it's heifers or steers but they all get the bulk of the ingredients they get the same we'll do a video sometime on what we actually do and actually mixing our feed because we actually got some new technology this year about how we mix them so we'll do that sometime soon but not today mainly because i don't know how to feed cattle that's curtis and nathan's job so i'll probably have them take the lead on that video so. Alrighty, i'm gonna go say hi to the birthday girl my cousin renee pat's daughter pat's oldest daughter then we'll continue on with the video and head up to butch's for the last feed lot we have Again, sorry for the shakiness of the camera. This is on my phone. Apologize. My bad. And if that's three hits, it's going to be an ice, an ice cream. Oh. Ice cream. Hi, Max. Going to go feed the kitties. Kitty! You better not be frozen. It's not. Kitty! Why is this one in here? Um, because... Oh, this is the cat you found at Gino's? Yeah. Oh. 
So you're making it an inside cat inside a barn? Uh -huh. Hi, kitty. Daddy, did you drink all your water? It's a good kitty. And she's starting to drink my water now. We haven't given her milk in a long time. Here you go. Hi, kitty. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't like me. It just went in there. Hi, kitty. It just wants Hi, kitty. Her name is Moonlight, but we don't really call her Moonlight. Hi, Moonlight. I'll call you Moonlight. Yeah. She does like to climb on your back. Yeah, whenever I hold her, she just goes on my back. Nice. Sounds good. I picked up a passenger. Say hi, Amber. Hello. We're going to go finish the rest of the tour. What's that, Amber? What's that? I'm just going to climb up here. Yeah. Yeah, there is. All right, everyone, this is our last cattle yard. This is what we call Butch's. It's our newest one, built it in, what is this? 2011, 2012? I don't know. Probably 2011, 2012. It's a couple years old by now. There we go. Nope, oh, just kidding. I fell, she's still up there. You can, you can come over here and then hang on to this table. No, I'll be good. I just gotta lean forward. There we go. All right, so this is Butch's. It's split up into two equal yards, about 150 head per. These are all new calves in here in both places, I believe. So, like I said, so same, same setup where we have feed bunks. It's a little different where we have to have two people to do this yard. We have to have one person run the gate, so open this gate and shut that one right there so cows can't come in. First, we gotta clear this out. Feed up here through there. Open these gates back up, open that gate. Shove all those calves all cows all around, and then just watch them as we continue feeding out the rest. So yeah, so it has. Oh, I almost fell again. <laughs> that wouldn't be good. Anyway, so we have feed lot, feed bunks. We have two water sources, one right there, one right there. So feed you water, and then everything back there is bed pack. So we put four corn stock bales back here every two weeks. Four in each. Uh, sorry, every week. Four here and four over there. So they have plenty of bedding. That cow's itching himself. And we try and scrape this out as much as possible. It's hard with this one because it gets really sloppy. We usually like to push it up, push it out uh, every week or so. That's why we got that little half tire tube thingy. So, but yeah. You got anything to say, Amber? Mm -mm. Just hold on for the ride. Are you cold or warm? Warm. You look like you're gonna go rob a place. <laughs> <laughs> Just, and you and your bright pink face mask. <laughs> Hi cows! This one's starting to get curious. So there we are, and that's Butch's. We like this one because it's also we like this one the best because it's got the most cover. We the, it's got these windows, this uh, kind of canvas back there we can open up in the summertime, but we close it in the winter, so it keeps them pretty nice and nice climate controlled. Um, we like this overhanging roof. We like that roof in the end of. Basically, we pile up manure when it gets pretty, when it gets too wet out, or it's too wet we can't spread it. We can pile it back there. Yeah, and it's pretty nice. We like it. So. Well, there we are, guys. That is all of our cattle yards. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you guys did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Heart Tongue Family Farms. Be sure to hit that subscribe or uh, post notification bell. Let you know any time that that uh, we post something and of course as always do you want to say the last word the last ending do you even know it no yeah i don't think you do <laughs> ta-ta for now guys bye 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 bye